वेलकम बैक टू द डिसीजन ट्री मॉड्यूल आई एल रेफर टू दिस डिसीजन ट्री विच वी सीन अर्लियर टू एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट विल ऑफन एनकाउंटर वेन वी आर डीलिंग विद डिसीजन ट्रीज द फर्स्ट वन इज वॉट वी कॉल अ रूट नोड अ रूट नोड रिप्रेजेंट द एंटायर पॉपुलेशन और द डेटा दैट वी हैव रूट नोड्स फर्दर गेट डिवाइडेड इन टू टू और मोर सेट्स विच वील जस्ट सी इन अ मोमेंट द सेकेंड टर्मिनोलॉजी is splitting splitting is a process of dividing a node into two or more sub nodes the highlighted lines here represent the splitting as a node is being split here into sub nodes now when a sub node is further divided into even more sub nodes then the initial sub node we'll call that a decision node so here these two highlighted nodes are the decision nodes now the nodes which do not split further are called the leaf or the terminal nodes in our example these four nodes are the terminal nodes since they are not splitting any further a subsection of the entire tree is known as a branch or a subtree so in this example these are the two branches or subtrees of a initial complete decision tree we then have parent and child nodes a node which is divided into sub nodes is called a parent node whereas the sub nodes will be called the child of the parent node don't worry let me explain this with a very simple example so let's say these are the names associated with each node a b c d e f g here so when we look at this particular section highlighted in the red border a is the parent node and b and c here are the child nodes of a similarly in this b is the parent node and d and e will be the child nodes and of course you must have guessed this by now c will be the parent node and f and g will be the child nodes finally there is one more terminology called the depth of a tree it is the length of the longest path from the root node till the leaf node when we look at this particular example the longest path here is 2 and hence the depth of this tree will be 2 now consider this tree the longest path is still 2 so that's why we'll keep the depth to 2 as well what do you think about this the longest path clearly is only 1 and that's why the depth is 1 finally the longest path in this tree is 3 and that's why you can see the depth is equal to 3 there now i have a question for you can you tell how many leaf or terminal nodes there are in this tree again i encourage you to pause this video and just it'll take you a second to come up with the answer just remember leaf nodes are the nodes which do not split further and as there are 1 2 3 4 and 5 leaf nodes here which are not splitting any further that's why we'll call them five leaf or terminal nodes in this tree these are some of the common terminologies related to decision trees In the next video we we'll look at some techniques that you can use to select the best split points in decision trees thank you